guys, Garner here. Hopefully you're doing well. Well, you know what? I went ahead and promised myself to do two vlogs, and I tell you, wow, that was something else. Uh, you know, doing doing vlogs is a good thing, um, but you know what? Um, doing two of them, <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, it takes some time, and I really do respect a lot of the creators that are out there putting stuff together to post online and some of these guys put two, three, four videos out a day and I'm like where do you find sleep? <laughs> you just uh, you, you, they are amazing when it comes to post editing and things like that. It really is in the post editing uh, point of view. So I just wanted to share with you those um, those tidbits because while I did my vlog and it was kind of short yesterday, uh, my personal vlog, it was kind of short as you guys remember. The vlog after that, or before that, I think it was before that, uh, one with my Tech Tuesday one, which I hope you guys enjoy my intro to Tech Tuesday, but the actual Tech Tuesday video, um, it took a while. Even though it was a subject I have been dealing with for the last 20 years, I know very well, I have been involved with it for a long time, it took a long time. It, I, I had to go over, over and over and over. I don't know why my personal vlog videos are so much easier. And so I have to investigate that to figure that out because uh, may, maybe it's because I like to, to, well I have to be more structured and the MDM stuff, but or master data management, or my technical professional software side of the world, but my personal stuff, I guess I just love being ad lib, I just ad hoc, uh, free form, whatever it is. But you, you're right. I don't have I don't have a script for my personal vlogs, and I had a script for my professional one that I'm well, my Tech Tuesday one, which kind of makes me wonder: Do I? Do I hit the trend of having to write a script for everything? I, I, I say no, but now I'm starting to think to myself, well, I'm glad I'm only doing Tech Tuesday once a week. <laughs> that way I can start writing Wednesday and or Tuesday of that week and then on to the next week. Because it is difficult. And I have to figure out and watch the flow and the timing and <clears throat> excuse me, all the all the stuff that I want to give out and I don't want to turn this into a three hour video if you know what I mean. So that that was that was cool but but you know getting back to getting back to this so let me let me share with you what I've discovered in the last few days. I mean today is Tuesday and I talked about starting on Sunday so let me share with you just day three of what came out to be, uh, you, you know, I mentioned this on my Facebook post, but I thought I'd share this with you all now. Trying to do all five steps, they're small, but I found step number two. Let me go over them one more time. Number one, that is write down three different things that you're grateful for. Uh, you can't repeat them while you're doing this. Uh, number two, you write down something that you are happy about in the last 24 hours. Number three, you send a note or a post or tweet or email or something like that that um, lifts people up. Uh, send a thank you, uh, send an appreciation note, say something of nice and valuable to someone else. Uh, number four, meditate. And number five, get out there and get some exercise. So let's talk about number two. You have to remember what has happened in the last 24 hours that you are happy about. Now I get the, the get, get the exercise about focusing your mind to remember and pull back uh, what you were happy about, and that was a challenge. At, well, it was a challenge on Sunday, and it was a challenge on Monday, and boy, it was even more of a challenge today. Not saying that there weren't any happy moments. It's just that I discovered I'm not focusing on them. See. I don't focus on them during that moment in time that the happy happens, the happy moment happens. I'm not focusing on it enough to embed that as a memory. So it's good that I'm forcing myself to remember, but at the same time, I'm discovering that I need to start embracing 
you know, smell the rose, you know, stop and smell the roses. What does that really mean? It, it, it means you need to stop and focus, if you can, on the slightly little things that make you happy. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. It, it was just... It was just something for myself. Oh, for the, you know, uh, I also mentioned about the meditation, you know, the four, step number four about meditation. But, uh, you know, step number two, writing things down, and it just made me realize that I'm not focusing on what's making me happy. And, and when it does happen, how do I, how do I retain that? How do I, how do I grab it? And so, it, it's just that little bit of little bitty thing. Remember the slight edge, the little bitty incremental steps that I'm discovering about that. So I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, with that, yeah. today I had lunch with a good friend of mine, uh, Pat. Thank you, Patrick. I really do appreciate you having lunch today. Uh, we we went to a local restaurant here, in South Austin, called Waterloo Ice House. Uh, what well, was just pretty cool because uh, we had what they call the farm um, farmland brunch burger and basically it's a hamburger with a fried egg on top and no I didn't get any on my shirt uh, and all that good stuff but the, I, I just wanted to that was pretty awesome Patrick uh, getting both of us got the same well, we didn't we didn't coordinate that we just yeah we wanted to get the brunch burger <laughs> that was that was cool and anyway, guys, sorry for the long long-winded uh, point of this uh, again I'm gonna try to focus on actually the status and give you guys an update on my five steps of happiness or five steps I'm taking the train for happiness and uh, let you guys know about that, how that's going. I, I can't believe that today I realized that when I was typing it out this morning as a journal for myself going, oh wow, I am not focusing on what makes me happy. Uh, so, Good stuff, man. Oh, by the way, thanks to Sarah. Sarah, I call you out out there. Thanks for posting those things on Facebook for Tony Robbins. Guys, if you haven't heard of Tony Robbins or Jim Rohn or, or any of those guys, I, I highly encourage you to do so because uh, Tony Robbins I've known and, and followed for years. Uh, I, I really appreciate his message. And uh, he's just got these short snippets that's with Business Insider that he's partnered up with and he's throwing these out there and they're on Facebook uh, or even on YouTube also that actually get these little one minute snippets of advice from Tony Robbins and you know I've gotten two of his series, I've read his books, uh, things like that you know that's just showing me that I need to go back and dive into those and really start extracting the things I need from them so I'm trying to fill my, my mind with positive and uh, proactive measures for myself and things like that. And, and one of my releases is this, is I enjoy sharing my life here with you. I, uh, I want to, it's really just for me is an outlet to, to get out there and share what I'm doing, what I've seen, what I experienced, uh, because I know someone else out there is going through the same thing and if I can help just a little bit, great, but the key thing is I'm holding myself accountable and I want to see in a year where I am. I want to challenge myself to see what happens in one year comparing myself from my first set of videos to the one year set of videos. Uh, I, you guys can go back and look at my vlogs and my first few videos and I'm like, God, I'm embarrassed with them. I'm like, wow, but at least I did them. And I hope I'm doing much better. I know I'm doing much better. I feel more confident doing this here with you all. And yes, ad hocking and ad living, good stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. If you like what I'm doing, get out there and hit that like button. And most of all, please show your support by hitting that subscribe button to follow me because I'm always looking for new, new friends to join me on this journey. So again, until we talk tomorrow, Peace.